This is one of my 56 Chevys that I've never been able to finish. It got to this point several years ago and somebody heard that I had one that was nearly done that would be for sale. And he came over and looked at this car and he saw another one that I hadn't even started working on and he decided he wanted the other one. So we made a deal that he agreed to and started working on the other one and he kept adding things he wanted and we kept uh, doing all that and adding all the stuff that he asked for and uh, he gave me a deposit and then one day when the car was pretty much done he took it for a test drive and never came back. So not answering the phone, not answering email, not, not doing anything. And uh, he pretty much got blacklisted by the local club and left for Oregon. And he died the first part of this year. So a lot of people knew exactly what he did and they all thought that his new girlfriend up there would be understanding. She had him sign everything over to her, including his two houses, cars, bank accounts, you name it. So I wrote her a letter and gave her the copy of everything that uh, he agreed to do. I explained that he just disappeared and never would respond. So her attorneys responded with a cease and desist or else we'll take you to court. So there you go. That's what happens when you're a good guy. So I haven't really been motivated to work on this car at all, but you can see it's pretty darn close. Thanks for watching and listening to my terrible story. <laughs>